Alright y'all, so I kind of wasted a lot of time and battery on catching bait there at the pier. Look, it's kind of all around me here, but it is what it is. I got enough. Um, and uh, we gotta do some fishing. Check both ways before I cross this ICW. There's no boats coming. And big bait. The problem with the bait out here is like the water's deeper. So when you throw your cast net, it's got like eight feet to escape out from underneath that cast up because my cast up hits the bottom. So, so I'm gonna go into this little channel. I'm gonna have to go across some oyster beds here um, to get to this spot where I caught a nice trout a few weeks ago. Um, unfortunately, on that day, I did not bring a backup battery for my uh, aerator and all oh, I've great bait and a bunch of it and it all died. Really. Like an hour in. Um, so that really ruined my trip. I had to work on getting more bait. So, hopefully today I'll work out better. I'll be able to fish some more spots here because I won't have to deal with dead bait. Alright, I'll check in once I get anchored and set up. Alright. Alright y'all, so I got down to this creek that I like. Um, it's an outgoing tide right now. Um, so the bait is making its way out of these flats and they're trying to find hiding spaces. So right where I am, I've got docks here, I've got oyster banks and oyster beds, and I've got a grass line. So I'm kind of going to use all of those options um, and see if I can find anything. So I'm going to show you how I bait my hook. I've got my mullet here. I'm going to hold them like this. I take my hook and I go kind of underneath of this back fin here. Um, and I don't want to hit the spine. I'm trying to go above the spine. You kind of got to knock some scales off sometimes to get it through. All right, so there we go. He's flopping around real nice. Um, so I got the other two lines in. I'm gonna toss this one this way. Um, I've got quite a current right now, so I put my regular anchor in. I feel like I'm kind of moving. All right. All right, so I put this one in over by docks over here. Um, this one is over kind of away from the docks a little bit more. And I've got this one right on the grass line. Um, and uh, those are all good spots. Um, those red drum will uh, get shallow and then we'll get close, real close to the grass line, like almost touching. Um, and they go in the grasses at high tide. So I've got three lines in. Fingers crossed we pick something up. Um, my battery situation isn't great today, so I'm going to go ahead and shut off while I'm waiting for something. Um, and, uh, I will go ahead and cut it on if I get a pull. Hey y'all, so, uh, I just moved to a different spot. Um, I was getting torn up by crabs there. Uh, I came to this area where there's a lot of oyster beds and patches of grass. There's a creek up behind me, um, just south that is going to be dumping water out. So the bait's going to follow that tide out. Stay. 
sticking out too far. And the fish felt it and spit it out. Right back to that same spot. Throw it against the wind, so that really sucks. It's about the same. I gotta conserve my battery, so I'll check back in with you soon. I think we got, got something on here, y'all. Yeah. And we got fish. Nice. Looks like a nice sized drum. Let's see. This is a good spot. Um, so right where I am, um, there's like underwater grass patches over there, where as the bait, you know, the tide is going out, and the bait uh, needs somewhere to go. They'll go to those grass patches. Oh no, it just came off. Dang. Oh, and it took my leader. Did it? No. It just came off. <sighs> Alright, we'll try again. Getting some good tugs on this one. Let's see if anything comes in. I'm 
sound like a drum, but we'll see. Buddy, I'm trying to get this out of your lip. Spot. There's not too much excitement here. Smaller drum. Um, I'm looking for something a little different today. And I usually fish on a rising tide. It's a falling tide, so um, I'm just gonna try some new stuff, new spots. See what happens. Hey y'all, so um, I moved to a spot where there's a large flat that is emptying out um, into the ICW. Um, I'm getting some nipples. Um, who knows what might happen here. There's a little hole here in the middle too, um, and then some shallows all around here. So as the water is going out, uh, the bait's coming out as well, and then apparently they get ambushed here. Uh, so, fingers crossed uh, we get something cool. Y'all, I caught an eel. Look at this thing. It is so weird. Let me get it in the sunlight. It is so weird, and it's like super hooked and all wrapped up. I don't know how I'm gonna get this off, but I'm gonna try. But anyway, oh, it is spinning. Gross. Ooh. Hey y'all, so uh, I caught a, an eel in that last spot, um, and it. I spent like 10 minutes trying to get that thing off of my leader. It's dead been, been dead 10 minutes I cut its head off and then I had to cut its middle off because it had wrapped its fly all the way around my leader um, so uh, I am gonna try to use this cut bait uh, I don't know if it'll work but we'll see what happens I threw its head in here um, you know drum like lizard fish this is kind of it's real slimy and whatnot so I don't know we'll see and life gives you lemons you make lemonade try to use yield for bait that was a pain in the butt though all right, let's see what happens. Y'all, I got a fish on. It did not take the eel. It took a mullet. Doesn't feel like it's anything too big right now, but sometimes they don't put up too much fight to get them closer to the kayak. Um, this line, I had it probably maybe 10 feet off of the grasses. It might be like half, half falling tide right now. Um, so that's a good spot. This feels like it might be a ray. I don't know. Oh. Something's hitting me from behind, too. Little drum here. Small guy.
drum number three for the day. For the morning. I don't even know what time it is. Maybe like nine. All right, hook is out. That was nice and quick. Let's get a length. I might move across the ICW um, to this grass patch because uh, it's getting low here and uh, there's a good grass patch right across on the inland side uh, where bait like to hide so I might head over there next. All right cool. Three drum. Hey y'all so I moved to a little deeper into this flat where the creek empties out into the ICW and I have hooked up to something. Feels like it's a pretty good size. Got a good fight on it. It is windy. This fish got some bite. Another little one with a lot of fight or a big stingray. Let's see what we got here. Oh, come out unhooked.
light on it. Um, 
I usually feel better in the morning. Um, I start getting worn out around one o'clock. I'm having to take a nap. Um, so, good day. I think that was like five drums, four or five drums. Taking on a nice one, put up a good fight. There's a, uh, it really gets your adrenaline going. I think it like, you gotta get some like serotonin and dopamine and stuff from fishing because uh, you just feel great. It's like you're high, you know, you're high on such those awesome fish and being out here. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. Uh, I gotta beat this weather in. Um, this was fun. I'm gonna do it again soon. Uh, we have some storms the next couple of days. So that'll give me some time to do some video editing. And uh, then I'll go fishing again when the weather's good. All right, well, I'm gonna check out. It was fun, y'all have a good one. Peace. Y'all, you're about to see what happens in the kayak when a yacht passes you in the ICW. So here we go, I got passed by one. It was rough, let's see how this goes. They might be going a little slower because they were going under the bridge. Big boat. Moving a lot of water. Alright, let's see what happens. I think I'm in about like three feet of water right now. And then as you get closer to the shore, you know, as it gets shallower, those waves and the wake gets bigger. So that's one thing we're at remember. If you're anchored on the side of the ICW and a big boat comes by, you've got to make sure you have enough anchor line and you're not gonna drift onto the bank. Because, oh, here we go. Oh, it's not too bad. Yeah, these, they weren't going as fast as the other one. So they just went through the bridge. The other one, the last of me. But anyway, that's one thing to remember. That if, whoop, 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 whoop.